Look at these train tracks. Let's see what happens to these on a hot summer day. Because of the heat, the tracks have expanded and can no longer be used. When temperatures increase, solid materials expand. We call this heat expansion. Heat expansion can be a problem, for example, with the train tracks. But we can also use it when we build things. Let's take a closer look at how we can use heat expansion. We can apply heat expansion to connect two plates of metal. This can be done through a process called riveting. First, we heat the rivet as much as we can so that it expands. Then we insert the rivet in a hole through the two plates and create a second head with a hammer. The two plates of metals are now connected by the rivet. When the rivet cools down, it contracts and pulls the plates together. The contraction is so strong that the plates are now watertight. That's why rivets are often used in building ships. Rivets are one of many ways we can use heat expansion to help us build things, but sometimes we need to engineer things in a way to prevent heat expansion from taking place. We saw the train tracks in the beginning. Train tracks are made of metal and metal expands when it's hot. But can we prevent train tracks from becoming damaged when it's hot? Actually, we can. When we build train tracks, we don't have the different rails touch each other. Instead, we leave a small gap between them. This is called an expansion joint. Now, the rails can expand and contract without damaging the tracks. Let's do an exercise. The girder of a bridge often contains metal. Let's take a bridge built by skill builders. They made the girder fit exactly between the two abutments. What do you think would happen on a hot day? The bridge would expand and break because the girders expand as a result of heat expansion. That's why we leave some space on one side of the bridge. The end of the bridge has little rollers underneath and a gap between the girders and the abutment. Now the bridge can expand when it's hot. In this video, we have seen an example of applying heat expansion when we build things. Rivets are heated so that they expand. They're inserted between plates and as they cool down, they contract, creating a very tight bond. The rails of a railway track can expand when it's hot. Engineers leave a gap between the rails so they can expand without damaging the rails.